friends, welcome back to my channel. It's Jamisia Capri, the nurse practitioner extraordinaire. And if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. So guys, I get this question all the time about when should I start applying for a job when I graduate? Like, you know, what's the time frame? So in this video, I'm going to discuss the time frame and when you should start looking for a job after you graduate. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back. I am today talking about um, a question that I get asked pretty often, especially from um, students who are about to graduate or if you've already graduated and you had not found a job. So my um, answer to that is you're always looking for a job. It starts probably the minute you start doing clinicals because really nowadays with the job market and how hard it is to get your first job, it's really gonna be based on referrals, right? So, or your connection, you know, who you might know, how people um, look at you, how people view you as a clinician and whatnot, right? So um, you should always be thinking about this. This should not be like a last minute thought. It should truly be something that you're thinking about right away. So when you think about it in terms of that, you definitely wanna start setting yourself up right away. And the perfect place to do that is during your clinical practice your your practicum right so when you get into the clinic as I've said before and you guys know I'm a big big proponent of this that you really do want to shine in the clinical setting now I know you you're probably saying well how can I do that because I'm so uh, new I'm a novice or whatever well you can do that in several ways check out some of my other videos for that type of information but what I'm basically saying is that every time you show up to clinic you are pretty much getting yourself prepared for a job. You're, you're interviewing for that job. And when you get to a site that allows you to have um, privileges or allows you to at least use their EMR, you're one step closer to getting your privileges and your ability to practice with that particular firm, right? So those are the most ideal places. If you get to a situation where you um, are going to start from scratch at a job um, or getting a job or applying for a job guys it takes anywhere from 90 days to six months to get that first job so you kind of really want to be starting that process immediately right um, you get you got of course got to get your boards you got to get your testing date all of that good stuff and then you have to actually pass the test and get a job offer but I suggest that you secure the actual job if you can, as best you can, <laughs> and that's where your referral would come in, right? So secure that job and then um, go from there. Now, it won't always play out like that. You won't always be able to secure the job right away. And that will normally take you, like I said, it can take anywhere up to six months to do that. So, so that you're prepared, make sure that you have a cushion for that um, and you're not surprised by that. Some jobs for some people happen even, even longer. Like for me, my first job, my first, well, okay, let me back up a little bit. The job I want to tell you about. Um, with the government. It took me almost a year and some to secure that job. So that's not really the norm, but I was prepared in the fact that I was taking part-time jobs here and there. I was, you know, getting myself ready for that full-time job. So it did take me a lot longer to secure that first job. If I would have thought about it prior to and prepared prior to, I probably would have got in a little bit sooner and if I would have followed up with them I would have got in sooner because when I did finally follow up with that particular job that I wanted 
um, they they had lost certain things they needed more stuff from me and apparently they had reached out we just didn't you know we just did not connect so it took sorry about the gum it took me a lot more um, t uh, time but expect that it will take uh, at least three months to six months to secure that job because that's how long credentialing takes that's how long getting your boards uh, your board certification takes licensing takes and in some states it may take a little bit longer so be sure that you know what it takes in your state how long it takes and the fact that you're prepared for that because as soon as you get that degree you won't get a job right away and I know you guys know that but I really do want you to start thinking about really strategically placing yourself in a position to get that first job so you want to definitely um, get all your connections make really really good connections during your clinical so that they have their eye on you and they know that you would be a good fit for their practice so that should be enough ammunition to get you guys started and <clears throat> and answer that question as to when you should start looking for a job um, or how quick you should start looking for a job after you graduate my answer again to that is you start immediately once you get into clinicals looking for a job to secure and to feel um, comfortable and let them feel comfortable with you now I know a lot of you are like well I, don't, I probably don't want to be in any of these clinical sites to work here full-time when I graduate but trust me if you can get a job like that I would say take it even if it's something that you you don't like because you have to get some experience right so it may be a blessing that you get a job from your clinical practice all right guys if you like this video guys hit that like button subscribe to my channel thank you so much for stopping by i love you guys take care i'll see you extraordinary people next time